Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. I hope you are doing well. So this is going to be a chatty video about stuff that I have recently purchased and yeah, it's just going to be a stationary chat. <laughs> uh, let's start off with, let me move these to the side. You might have seen this video already. I will post the link up in the cards somewhere. But yeah, I purchased this roll pen case from Plotter and um, it holds four fountain pens and there's a zipper compartment here in the middle or off to the side. I don't remember exactly what Oh, I don't remember the color of the leather, but yeah, I thought it would be, it's a nice, it's a nice compact sized uh, roll pen case. And I really like the kind of the rugged look of the leather. And I think I'm going to have to look at the website, but um, the leather is not like the pristine, clean type of looking leather. It's uh, very much distressed and I will try and do some close-ups if I can, but it pretty much came like this. It, was, it wasn't, uh, I had like several scratches and I don't know if this one is called um, uh, repurposed leather. I, I don't remember the correct terminology that they had on the website. But yeah, I wanted something kind of small and a uh, place to hold some of my fountain pens. I have, oh, <laughs> this I guess is another update. I had this one in here as well, but I wanted to carry a fountain pen with me. Um, I had to get the car kind of serviced and I wanted to bring a journal with me and this is my everyday carry where I keep all of my appointments and things this never changes uh, throughout the year um, but yeah I felt like uh, journaling a little bit and so I took with me the notebook uh, like the journal and a fountain pen and yeah this is an old sorry this video is going to be all over the place uh, but this is a super old uh, Shakespeare I think I have a video of it I think I'm pretty sure I have a video of it. Uh, maybe I did an unboxing uh, from 2014, 15, 16, <laughs> somewhere around there. Um, but this is back when they used to call it distressed. Um, and then they did a another distressed version that they called Odyssey. And I think they brought it back recently. But um, yeah, it's it's the po I think it's the pocket size, and I. I'm able to fit two notebooks in here, but um, so that's my current EDC. That's kind of changed, I guess, a little bit. Uh, I, I like the the rugged look. I've been like liking the rugged look, but yeah, I have been keeping these fountain pens in this one case. I was using uh, the the roll pen case here from Bokumondo, but I, I just can't get myself to bring it out because it's so pretty and I would feel gutted if it got dirty. Um, this is from uh, Kimono. They repurposed a Kimono and and she has the Urushi here. Hiroko-san does the Urushi, beautiful Urushi. And yeah, so I can't get myself to bring this out. And so when I saw that, I know Plotter is quite popular right now. I actually don't have any of their, um, what's it called, planner systems. Um, but yeah, I saw this that was available and uh, wanted to give that a go. So there's that one update. And then I guess while I'm on the topic of fountain pens, I have been using the the M5, the Micro 5 refills uh, from Yamamoto paper and the one that I was using in here, I've been kind of, let me show you here. I was using the bank paper to swatch out uh, bank paper and um, I was using that to swatch out the inks 
but then I thought to myself, I, I like bank paper because I can really see the nice characteristics of the different inks. Um, let me do a close-up. It's hard to see, eh? But the thing is, I don't write on bank paper. It's not my usual <laughs> paper that I go to. So I was thinking of maybe I should switch to Tomoe River. Uh, Yamamoto paper also has this in Tomoe River, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I ended up choosing Cosmo Air Light because I do have the Cosmo Air Light notebook that I journal in. And I wanted to swatch the inks out on paper that, um, that I actually use. I hope I'm making sense. I, I like to swatch the inks out, but I want to swatch it on paper that uh, I'm familiar with or that I will use frequently. And so yeah, I won't go through everything because there's a lot here, but yeah, I've so I've decided to, I guess I should, I don't know if I should write like bank paper. I'm not sure. That's a lot of pages to <laughs> indicate bank paper, but so I did a refill of the Cosmo Air Light next because I'm fi I'm pretty much finished. Uh, I think I have a couple of sheets left. Oh no, I'm actually yeah. These are the the sheets that I have remaining. One, two, maybe. Um, so once those are finished, I will switch over to the Cosmo Air Light refills in the Micro Five binder. I originally wanted to use this as kind of like my go-to uh, everyday carry, pop it in my purse type of thing or my backpack, but it's just way too small. I did purchase the monthly calendar, but it's just way too small for me. Uh, this compartment is really good for like coins and things, but yeah. Just to show you a size comparison with an A6. This is an A6. This is the Micro 5, and because I have my everyday carry handy here, you can see the size difference here. This is considered, I think this one is considered a 6 slim. Um, this is kind of like a pocket size, and that's the Micro 5. It's tiny, eh? <laughs> Alright, so that's one thing that I purchased recently and then yeah let's go through this all these goodies here I got the two packs of the new mild liner colors I really like this set I think a lot of people um, enjoy the natural mild Nachuraru Mai Rudo natural mild set it's so like they're toned down uh, maybe I'll just do a quick swatch for you in my Hobonichi I think I did actually let me see if I did one already that I can show you I did one of the natural mild here and I will find this is like the old get it out for you here. This is the old version of the gray. You can see a difference there. The newer version is uh, slightly more blue. The, the color is mild, mild, cool gray. This one is mild gray, so it has a bit of like the cool tone to it. This is the old version and the newer version. I don't have the whole set of the old version, so I can't compare, I'm sorry. Um, but yes, this is the older gray. I think I'll just quickly show you the, I'll swatch some of the, let's see if I can find a, oh, there's a good blank page here. Let's, I'll quickly show you the <laughs> swatches of the This is the Yasashi Samai Rudo. Here. All right, so let's swatch these out. I'm pretty sure there's got to be some uh, videos already available on YouTube where you can check out all the different uh, new colors. 
I'll just do it here on the Hobonichi. Oh, that's a really pretty soft, mild uh, lilac. Oh, that's really, really, it's a pretty soft purple. Oops. Uh, mild baby pink. Oops. Here we go here. I'll swatch it again because I think I ran over it twice. Yeah, see there's a difference if you run it run it over twice and then this is like one swatch. Um mild sherbet yellow. So this one that one was uh, mild sherbet yellow. This one is mild uh, soda blue. Mild soda blue. I like that these aren't so like neon, like they're not too bright. They're very, very like a powder soft pastel color. Then mild uh, honey orange. So here are the close-ups of the Yasa Shisa Mild pack and the close-up of the Natural Mild pack. This, these are so pretty. Sorry, this last one is the old version of the grey, so uh, these ones up here are the Natural Mild. They're so soft and pretty. I don't know if I can really get uh, any use out of this one but maybe if you kind of actually that would be really nice for like backgrounds I think um, let me quickly show you what I mean by that this soft color that really light peach is mild cream so I will uh, probably journal about this day here and you can because this is such a light color I think it would be really nice to add uh, for lines like it's not too distracting it's hard I'm not sure if this is picking up on camera but it adds some color to the page but it's not distracting at the same time you can write on top of it um, and it adds some color to the page and I don't know if that's picking up nicely on camera but it's a nice soft soft color and if you just need to highlight something uh, for your, I guess for school or for work, you need to highlight something and you don't want it to be too <laughs> in your face. I think that's a really, really nice soft color. All right, so moving on, I also purchased or I found these like stickers from the Hyakuen shop. Hyakuen is like a dollar store. And I, oh, there were so many there, but I only ended up getting three because, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to budget and save up for a uh, bigger purchase, but these are so cute and they're kind of like the ki kita strips. Uh, I don't know if I have any with me I'll close, but let me see if I have some kita in here. Uh, I usually carry, oh yes, so um, they remind me of the kita strips, like these ones. And they're nice to add like little borders or like a page break. Uh, they're really great for that. You can use them for tipping things in. Um, but yeah, these ones are so <laughs> soft and cute. And those are the stickers there. I know my daughter, my daughter loves stickers in general. So I thought I would share these really cute ones here. I want to see these ones. I want, they kind of look like there's some gold foiling. So let's see. Oh, they're so pretty. I should probably put them on some white background so that you can see properly. <laughs> this is going to go all over the place, eh? Oh, they're very cute. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see these designs. Well, there's that one already there. Yeah, they're really nice. Oops, there it goes, all the other ones. I think you have if you have like a beach theme going on, it would be really nice and fitting for that. Of course, it does. You don't have to have a beach theme journal entry or anything, but just to add a page break uh, to my journal. Sometimes I do that. I think. Uh, let's see if there's a place where we can add one so that I can show you how I would actually use. Like even here, I have Sunday, May the 29th. You can have a thing there. This would be a nice area for a page break, eh? Let's add these super cute swans. Yeah, that's really cute. <laughs> so this is how I would use these stickers. You can see right there. And this would be a nice, another spot. I would probably put one there. Um, yeah, just even here, that would be nice over here. <laughs> but yes, so I'm very, very excited uh, for these cute little stickers. Push this off to the side. There's these designs as well. And then, yes, lastly, I was thinking of getting the Koweko brass, like the all brass fountain pen for quite some time now. Um, but it's about $100 and um, yeah, it's something that I really had to think about. And then I recently <laughs> realized there's the Traveler's Company brass fountain pen and it's half the price in Japan anyways, it's half the price of the Kaveco all brass fountain pen. And so I went with this one. It also has a clip and I think it only comes with one nib. So this is the F type nib. I have heard that it's not the traditional Japanese uh, fine tip. It's more of like the Western fine. So it's a little bit it's a little bit uh, wider than the Japanese finds, but that's okay. I actually like the medium nibs in the Japanese fountain pens, so I'm hoping that this will work out. I don't think I will unbox it here with you because it's going to be such a long video, but so I'm very excited to try this out. I, I'm assuming that um, it uses the standard cartridge, so I think I'm just I'm not going to use the black ink. I want to. I, I believe I have some empty standard cartridges that I will probably fill up with a different ink and start uh, with the brass fountain pen journey. But I'm looking, I'm excited to start uh, looking at the patina and it is on the heavier size, heavier side because it is brass. But yes, I'm very, very excited for that. And I think, mm, yeah, I also was going to share with you the Traveler's Notebooks, but I th think I might have to change that to a different video. Uh, lastly, I wanted to mention uh, these postcards. I was able to visit Traveler's Facti Factory several weeks ago, or I want to say over a month ago now, probably, um, when they were releasing the fun editions like the train edition, the record edition, the airline edition, hotel. Um, and I was able to, uh, I of course purchased these postcards and then I ended up um, stamping them with the limited edition stamps there at the actual store. And so I thought I would send these off to you. I think I'm going to do it on coffee. I w uh, the links are always uh, in down below. Um, hmm. I will probably do three on coffee and then two here on uh, YouTube because I don't think everyone is on coffee. It's You don't have to join anything or you don't have to subscribe. I know um, 
people think it's some people might uh, there might be a misunderstanding it's like patreon it's it's not like that um, you don't have to subscribe to anything to see my coffee feed uh, it's available for everyone so I do have some printables there and some uh, extra content extra videos it's just a really tiny amount <laughs> but i'm really considering closing it down soon because i just can't keep up with it um, and i do have to pay a fee for it uh, and i think it's coming up soon in june so i might i'm not sure yet but if you're seeing this video then uh, please feel free to visit the coffee and um, you know download the printables that are there and check out the content that's there before I don't know if I'm if there is an option to actually close the whole thing down um, but I'm thinking of doing that just because I can't keep up with all the I have I can't even I'm barely on Instagram so it's it's difficult um, I enjoy YouTube because I enjoy creating the content and I enjoy journaling and filming it and sharing it with you um, and then I use coffee more to give back uh, to the supporters and people that follow me there um, but yeah so I think uh, for these postcards they're all different different designs and I didn't oh that one's a coincidence because I didn't look at the design before stamping them because there were just so many people I just ended up just stamping 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 so that was a that's a coincidence there's the train um, there's this one here the hotel and yeah so I think three of them I will do like a giveaway here on YouTube and then two of these postcards I will um, do it over on coffee or Kofi, <laughs> I never, I never know what the pr cor correct pronunciation is for that. Um, so yeah, that's that. I was going to do a flip through of my Hobonichi in this video, but I don't think I'll have enough time. It's probably over 25 minutes long, but let me just quickly flip through the pages. I will. I think the video where I share with you my old my old Hobonichi will be up prior to this video so that will be linked somewhere down below as well but yes so this is my current <laughs> uh, daily almost daily journal these past weeks have been tough um, yeah I need to I think I will color these on camera and then I'll do a flip through because it's always fun to look at the pages once the doodles are kind of colored up and I can't believe it's already been like it's already half a year <laughs> it's crazy um, and now that I look at it it's like not too bad and then I recently saw Hobonichi post that they're doing that they're selling just the EVEC from July to December and if it gets to that point where I think it's like too thick then I can always just purchase just the EVEC. I always thought in my mind that the EVEC would cost a lot more money uh, but it's around $12 and I think for half a year for $12 that's not too bad that's like $2 a month for daily journaling I think that's not bad at all and it's Tomoe River paper and so I might end up just purchasing the EVEC for July to December if it gets too much and I'm not going to hold back anymore the uh, in the video where I was reviewing my previous journals I really miss having my kids photos I've concentrated a lot on doo -doo doodling more and and I miss not seeing him seeing them in here in my Hobonichi so I'm not gonna hold back anymore <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna add the washi tape that I want and add the ephemera that I want and um, yeah so I already s started <laughs> tipping some things in and so I think starting June I'm just gonna go with the usual journaling way and if it gets really bad then there's always the Hobonichi 
Yeah, if you think about it, it's twelve dollars, or I guess it's twelve seventy-one. Was it yen? It's like two dollars a month, and that's not too bad, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed watching what I have purchased recently, and please feel free to follow me follow it follow me over on at Coffee before I kind of take a break from it. I don't know if I can uh, like fully close it down. So yeah, I will leave, the links are always in, down below. The coffee link is kind of like in the default setting. So it should be down below. And I hope you are having a good day. Thank you very much for being here and always so much. I really want to, uh, appreciate your support and the comments. Um, I, I continue to do this because of course I enjoy stationery very very much um, but you know it's easy to just not film and just take this all in myself but I really truly enjoy sharing this with you and I hope that it provides you some form of entertainment or some form of comfort um, oh I forgot to include this <laughs> uh, yeah I hope you had a fun time with me chatting about stationery stuff I will see you soon Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.